Hi, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. I'm Dr. Jason J. Campbell, and uh, in this video I'm going to continue uh, my ongoing analysis of semiotics. Um, what I'm doing in this analysis is continuing an investigation into um, the role that semiotics plays and the significance that it has for Saussure. Um, what I'm going to do is continue the discourse uh, from last time, and we're going to look more in this this particular uh, section of the video series into the object of study. And we recognize that what Saussure has done on, on until this point, if you've been watching all the videos on, up until this point, is that he's identified that it is language that is to be the focus of the linguist. So as linguists, what we're interested in doing, what you're interested in doing, is analyzing the language. But insofar as we're analyzing the language, what Saussure wants to ask the question is, what is the object of our study? What is it that we're studying specifically? Um, and that's what this this next section uh, is devoted to. Is uh, this next section is devoted to the idea of the object of study within linguistics? So, with that being said, uh, let's begin. This is an intro. I N T R O to semiotics. And this is uh, section 1.2.2. 1.2.2. Alright, and this is the object of study. Alright, uh, the first thing to recognize is, is the following. It may be stated that a function of science is to analyze a given object. Right? So, someone may state, uh, rightfully so, that the function of science, what science does and what scientists do, is that scientists describe um, objects. They describe, quote-unquote, reality. I've done a video series on logical positivism um, where I talk about sort of the relationship between the logical positivist and the descriptive scientific account. Um, so, if you want more information on a very technical aspect of this scientific process, you can look at my series on, just go to the search in technological positivism and you'll, you'll sort of go through that whole meta-analytical uh, bit. So basically how this looks is, with respect to science, we have science as a discipline, C -I -E -N, and we have the thing in the world. And what the scientist does is that the scientist, um, through the scientific method, hypothesis, testing, verification, reproducibility, so on and so forth. Um, the scientist analyzes particular things in the world. They analyze reality. And in this analysis, they are said to describe what exists, right? So that prior to scientific analysis, the people responsible for describing the world were metaphysicians. And the metaphysicians used metaphysics as their um, tool of analysis. And prior to the metaphysicians, there were theologians. And, and, and I mean, they still are theologians, but sort of historically speaking, there were theologians, and theologians described uh, this account. And prior to the theologians, there, you know, we had sort of, this is where uh, Joseph Campbell's account of the hero of a thousand faces comes in. You know, we, we have a, 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 an ability to tell stories. So stories were the way in which we described the world, and so on and so on. So even the analysis and the description of the world, as boring as that sounds, can be sort of articulated within the history of ideas as sort of this evolving concept itself. Um, the object is said to lend itself to scientific analysis, right? So um, my articulation of this figure as a multicolored, um, six-sided, I think it's six, one, two, yeah, six, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, a multicolored, six-sided cube with blah, 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 this lends itself to scientific um, analysis. Um, it's harder, however, and this is, this is sort of what we're attempting to do, like a scientific analysis, that thing, the objects in the world, all this stuff around me, lends itself to be described in terms of scientific analysis. What Saussure wants to do is find the linguistic object, right? So the question is, um, what is, similarly, Linguistics, what is our object? What is the linguistic object? Right? 
what is the linguistic object? The scientist analyzes an object in the world, and that analysis of the object is said to describe the object. Um, to be honest, it's, it's an inference to the best explanation, is the technical way of phrasing it, um, but I'm not going to get into that. Um, the linguist is attempting, um, via Saussure at this point, the, the, the semiotician is attempting to uh, analyze an object and describe this object, and the question is, well, what is that object? What is the linguistic object? Um, for Saussure, he says at this point, and again, we're sort of tracing our idea along with his development conceptually throughout the course in uh, general linguistics, um, this is a bit harder to articulate. So um, Saussure gives the uh, what I thought was a very, very good analysis of the French term nu, it means naked. Um, so I, I've sort of embedded this image in the PDF. I went into uh, uh, Paint, created the image, copied it in. Um, but I'm going to draw it again on the board. So imagine that we have linguistics, right? And actually I've already drawn it, so I'll just put it here. And we have the term, the word new. Well, if we analyze the term new, um, the question is, are we analyzing the term as object? Or is that what we're doing? Are we analyzing? So I'm asking the question and I'm stating, are we analyzing the term as object? So we're going to look at new as object, right? We're going to look at this word, new, as object. 